Imagine if 85% of the universe was invisible. What if we told you that's the reality we live in? Welcome to the enigma of dark matter, a mystery that continues to baffle the brightest minds in science. Picture this. In the early 20th century, astronomers were observing galaxies when they noticed something peculiar. The stars at the outer edges of these galaxies were moving much faster than they should have been. Their speed suggested there was more gravitational force acting on them than could be accounted for by visible matter alone. This puzzling observation led to the hypothesis of dark matter. But what exactly is dark matter? That's the million dollar question. Dark matter is thought to be a type of matter that does not interact with the electromagnetic force. This means it doesn't absorb, reflect or emit light, making it extremely difficult to spot. In fact, the only way we know it exists is through its gravitational effects on visible matter, radiation, and the universe's large-scale structure. It's no small deal either. Dark matter is estimated to constitute approximately 85% of the matter in the universe and about a quarter of its total energy density. Yes, you heard right. Most of the universe is made up of something we can't even see. Over the decades, scientists and researchers have made numerous attempts to detect dark matter directly using incredibly sensitive equipment, yet, despite these efforts, dark matter has remained elusive. Is it because our instruments aren't sophisticated enough? Or might it be that our understanding of physics needs a radical revision? The answers are still shrouded in mystery. As we grapple with the unseen, we're left to wonder what else could be hiding in the cosmos. This is but one piece of the puzzle in our quest to understand the universe. It's a testament to the fact that even in this age of advanced technology and scientific prowess, there are still aspects of our universe that remain beyond our grasp. In a universe constantly expanding, what mysterious force could be driving this relentless growth? This question has been at the heart of cosmological study for decades. The answer, it seems, lies in the peculiar phenomenon of dark energy. The discovery of dark energy was as surprising as it was groundbreaking. In the late 20th century, astronomers expecting to find the universe's expansion slowing were astonished to find the opposite. The universe wasn't just expanding, it was doing so at an accelerating rate. This unexpected revelation led to the hypothesis of a strange, unseen energy pervading all of space. This force, pushing galaxies away from each other, was named dark energy. Dark energy's role in the accelerated expansion of the universe is both fascinating and perplexing. It is believed to make up approximately 70% of the total energy in the universe, yet we know so little about it. In fact, it's even less understood than its elusive counterpart, dark matter. While dark matter appears to clump and cluster, dark energy seems to be everywhere and always the same, a quality that makes it incredibly difficult to study. Theories about dark energy abound, each more intriguing than the last. One of the leading theories is that of the cosmological constant. Proposed by Albert Einstein, the cosmological constant represents a constant energy density filling space homogeneously. However, if this theory holds true, it creates an uncomfortable paradox. The calculated energy density is more than 100 orders of magnitude smaller than what quantum mechanics predicts. Another popular theory is quintessence, a dynamic changing energy field that contrasts with the static nature of the cosmological constant. Quintessence, named after the classical fifth element, suggests that dark energy's density can vary in time and space, offering a slightly more comfortable fit with our understanding of the universe. With so much about dark energy still unknown, our journey into the universe's mysteries has only just begun. As we delve deeper into the cosmos, we can only hope to unravel more of its enigmatic secrets. For now, the peculiar phenomenon of dark energy continues to baffle and bewitch us in equal measure. What if there were cosmic monsters lurking in the vastness of space, swallowing up everything around them? This is not a line from a science fiction novel. Instead, it's a question that scientists have been grappling with for centuries. And the monsters in question are none other than black holes. Black holes are celestial entities so dense that nothing can escape their gravitational pull, not even light, hence their name. They were first theorized in the 18th century by John Michel and Pierre-Simon Laplace, but it wasn't until the 20th century that their existence was confirmed, thanks to the groundbreaking work of scientists like Albert Einstein and Carl Schwarzschild. 
Black holes are characterized by their intense gravity and the event horizon, a boundary beyond which nothing can escape. This makes them invisible to our eyes, but their presence can be detected by the way they affect their surroundings. They distort the space around them, causing nearby objects to move in peculiar ways, and they can even bend light itself. But what happens inside a black hole? That is a question that continues to perplex scientists. According to Einstein's theory of general relativity, the laws of physics as we know them break down inside a black hole. Time and space become distorted and matter is crushed into a singularity, a point of infinite density. However, the true nature of a singularity and what happens to matter once it's sucked into a black hole remains a mystery. Some theories suggest that black holes could be portals to other universes or that they might contain entire universes within their dark depths. These ideas are purely speculative at this point, but they serve to highlight the enigmatic nature of black holes and the many questions that remain unanswered. Black holes, the universe's ultimate enigma, continue to baffle us as we delve deeper into the cosmos. As we probe the mysteries of the universe, black holes stand as a testament to the vastness of our ignorance and the infinite potential for discovery that the cosmos holds. How old is the universe and just how big is it really? These are questions that have puzzled astronomers for centuries and the answers remain as elusive as ever. Scientists have devised a few ways to estimate the age of the universe. One of the most common methods is to study the oldest celestial bodies we can observe, the ancient clusters of stars known as globular clusters. By calculating their age, we get a minimum age for the universe. Another method is observing the rate at which galaxies are moving away from us, a phenomenon known as the Hubble expansion. This cosmic inflation theory suggests that the universe has been expanding since the Big Bang, and by reversing this expansion, we can estimate the time it took for the universe to reach its current size. But here's the catch. These methods give us estimates, not exact figures. The universe's age is estimated to be around 13.8 billion years, but there's a margin of error of about 1%. That may not sound like much, but in cosmic terms, it's a staggering 130 million years. Now onto size, the observable universe, the part we can theoretically see, is estimated to be about 93 billion light years in diameter. But the universe beyond our cosmic horizon, the part we can't observe, could be vastly bigger. Some theories even suggest that our universe might be just one of an infinite number of universes, a concept known as the multiverse. These estimates have profound implications. If the universe is indeed much larger or perhaps even infinite, then the laws of physics as we know them could be merely local bylaws, with different laws applying in distant regions or other universes. Staring into the cosmic abyss, we're left pondering just how vast is the universe we inhabit? Are we alone in this vast cosmos or is there life beyond our blue planet? It's a question that has tickled the minds of philosophers, scientists and dreamers alike for centuries. A question that has pushed us to venture into space, to probe the distant corners of our universe in search of an answer. Our search for extraterrestrial life begins with a fundamental understanding of what life requires. Life as we know it thrives in a Goldilocks zone where conditions are just right, not too hot, not too cold, but just right for liquid water to exist. It needs a source of energy like our sun and a cocktail of certain chemical elements, but remember this is life as we know it. The universe is a vast and diverse place and life elsewhere might not play by our rules. Take a moment and consider the possibilities. Within our own solar system, there are places that could potentially harbor life. Mars, with its ancient riverbeds and polar ice caps, suggests a watery past. Beneath the icy surface of Jupiter's moon Europa and Saturn's moon Enceladus, vast oceans could exist, warmed by the tidal forces of their parent planets. And then there's Titan, another moon of Saturn, with its lakes and rivers of liquid methane and ethane. Could these alien environments be home to life forms unlike anything we've ever imagined? And beyond our solar system, in the vast cosmic ocean, there are countless exoplanets orbiting other stars, many within their star's habitable zone. With the sheer number of these potential homes for life, the odds seem in favor of biology. Yet we have yet to find definitive proof the discovery of life beyond Earth, even microbial, 
would be a revelation, shifting our perspective on our place in the universe. It would tell us that life is not a fluke, but a cosmic imperative. As we gaze at the stars, we are left with a tantalizing question. Are we alone in the cosmos, or is there someone else out there looking back at us?